Hey Stampers, it's Lisa Marie with StampWithLisaMarie.com and I'm going to show you the cards that we're doing in card class this month. And um, I wanted to show you first because you know we have the new catalog which is amazing and I didn't bring one in here with me, how sad. I can't show you the inside yet anyway, not till May 4th, but I wanted to show you the, some of the colors because I think they're gorgeous. Look at this, Fresh Freesia. And then you have Evening Evergreen and you have Polished Pink soft succulent and pale papaya Ooh, that ring is making a little glare let's see how that works I think we're a little crooked that might be better sorry i'm not trying to make you seasick but aren't those pretty and so anyway we're going to use a couple of these today in our class but these are some really quick cards oh, i just realized i got something slick and i didn't mean to let me grab a piece of scrap paper try to make less of a mess let's see we're gonna grab this, and the first one that we're going to do is a set of four cards. I know, four cards, right? So isn't that pretty? And this is with a new set called Color and Contour. I'm hoping I remembered it. I don't have to go get it, good. And then we have this one. So they're all four, just different orientations. So then we're gonna turn that one. And just so happens, I turned, I turned three of them this way and only one that way. Um, and I also did my envelopes to coordinate with them. And then also on the inside, I stamped a flower in there too. Um, so we're gonna do those. I'm gonna show you a quick, easy way to do this and some alternative ways if I remembered it. So same concept, except this one, I layered a piece of polished pink behind it just to give it a little extra pop, which I thought was really pretty. So in your kit, you do not have that extra piece. Um, because we did five projects this month with envelopes, I thought I was worried that it was going to be like too much waiting and cutting and all that kind of stuff. So you can add anything you want. There's Daffodil Delight in this card, so a piece of daffodil would look pretty back there. You can do all sorts of things. So this um, is really pretty with any, you know, all kinds of different stamp sets. You don't have to do it. So if you don't have this stamp set since it's brand new and if you're not a demonstrator, you won't have it. Let me show you another one that I did. Oh, he lost his bow. There was a bow here. Oops, he fell off somewhere, probably in my classroom. But anyway, so there's another one, and that's with an open image instead of two-step stamping. And I just took my little um, stamp and write marker, and I made the three little dots just to kind of fill in some space. And then this one, it might be a little bit harder to see. This one I did on crumb cake paper with the pale papaya and the fresh freesia and the soft succulent. And same, and this is that pale papaya ribbon and layered it on white and I think it came out gorgeous. And then I took my white chalk pen, this little guy, and went through and dotted it. So just showing you that there's different ways. You don't have to use what I'm using. Um, you could use, I mean, anything. It can make a guy card if you wanted to. If you've got some boats or something you wanna stamp all around the edges, that would work too. So I'm gonna, what I did is I took a piece of our basic white, which is eight and a half by 11. I took a half an inch off of two sides so that I made it eight inches by ten and a half. So here's my piece. And you're not going to fold it or anything because we're going to stamp first. Okay, I'm going to grab my color and contour stamp set and pull these out. You know what? Maybe I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab my sunflower set because I think a lot of you have that. Let me grab that. Since I'm here, let's do it with the Celebrate Sunflowers. One of these is mine and one of them is Rebecca's. I just realized hers is here. So we'll do the sunflower. And I think that will be really pretty. And then it will, um, oh, do we want the big one or the little one? I think we want the big one. I, now I haven't done it this way, you guys. So surprise, just a big surprise. Which is why I didn't go live because I hadn't decided what I was gonna do. And so I was like, I'm just going to hop on here and do a video that I'll put on YouTube for you guys. I want to make sure the stamp is clean because I know I used black on it last and it is good. And we will use, Ooh, I think we're going to, we're going to try the pale papaya and see what it looks like. Make sure he's dry. This, because he's so big, I like to go this way. Again, you can use whatever stamp set you want. You don't have to do what I'm doing. The whole thing with a class is that you, everything's adaptable. I do miss seeing you guys all in person though, I have to tell you. Oh, 
Ooh, that's really pretty. I like this color. I'm contemplating, do I put some pink ones in there too? I wish we were live now so that I could ask you what you think. Ooh, did you see that? It landed perfect. That was almost really tragic. Oh, I'm almost feeling like I could go back in there with my polished pink. And I brought a chamois and I'm still using a baby wipe. It's silly. In that stamp set, there's a little one. I mean, should we go maybe add those guys? Maybe we'll try that. I mean, what's the worst that happens? We start over, right? I delete the video and I start completely over. <laughs> let's see how that looks. I don't like the pink leaves though. So let's not do that. Let's do this guy and see what happens. And we'll just add a few. Oh, that's gonna be pretty, I think. And like this guy's gonna go here. And we're gonna go here. I did was fill in some of those gaps. Then I used Coastal Cabana earlier. I think that's what I'll stick with because you guys are more likely to have that. Now you could do this with yellows and oranges. You don't, like I said, you're not going to have these new colors yet and that's okay. Just use what you have. Oops. Let's see how we like this. Oh, that's going to be pretty. So we're going to add some leaves just to get a little bit of color in here you know, other than these pinks. So we got some greenery going on. I'm hoping I didn't go too far in. We'll see in a minute. And if I did, we'll just make it work. It'll be okay. All right, so there's that. Because I'm looking limited on some white space where I'm going to put my words, but we're going to see. I'm going to grab my paper trimmer. Because remember, this was eight by 10 and a half. So to cut it in half, because it's eight inches this way, we're gonna do it at four, like that. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. And then this guy's 10 and a half, so to cut him in half, we're gonna do it at five and a quarter, like so. So some will have better space than others, and that's okay. All right, we'll get rid of that. It's like that one's gonna be pretty going. What is that landscape? Ooh, this one. I might be able to get a skinny word right there, but I'm kind of thinking he might go that way too. And then this one's gonna go this way and this one's gonna go this way. So I already, have, you got two card bases um, that are five and a half by eight and a half. And you also got, and they're the thick basic white, and you also got two that four and a quarter by 11. So we're gonna fold those guys in half. And so like this guy will go here. I just wanted you to have an idea before we get our words on here, what I'm doing. And this came out gorgeous. I almost like it better. Just that I just like the sunflower. I think that's what it is. And imagine if it had a layer behind it, right? It would just step it up a notch. I think I have one sitting here. Look at that. He's not quite the right size. Oh, maybe he is. I just had him on there crooked. But see the difference it makes? Still beautiful over here, but this is just a whole nother, a whole nother thing. So we're going to take thanks a bunch. I was hoping was going to fit on this guy, but he is not unless we go like that, which we could, or know that you are loved is a sweet one too. And he's going to work really good right here. And then this one says, congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful. I don't want him there, but I might put him there. And I'm thinking thanks a bunch is going to be good there too. So now we are going to move this guy out of my way and stick you here. I'm going to grab that pink, polished pink it's called. Oh, I guess I could do it in Coastal Cabana. Oh, that might be better. So this is how my brain works have to try things out and see what I'm gonna love and you know oh that's so pretty and he's a little crooked but we're gonna call it character today and live with it right <laughs> you can't you got, can't sweat the small stuff you know there's bigger things in life to get upset about other than a little crooked sentiment so 
we're going to stick that right there. And then we're gonna add some bling in just a minute. I'm gonna move him out of the way though so I don't make a mess. This one I haven't decided yet. This one, we're going to stick you here. And we're gonna do, I just didn't wanna stamp it in black. It just felt so stark. Oh, I made a line, but we're gonna put three rhinestones there. <laughs> Don't you hate when you do that? Another reason. So this is, okay, I did start to tell you and I changed the subject. I didn't give you these because I knew you wouldn't have these colors and I didn't want you to be all stressed out trying to make it coordinate since you're not here in person. So that is why. So pick your three colors that you're gonna use and then you can also cut this layer to work for you. Okay, so I wasn't I wasn't trying to be cheap, I promise. I wasn't being frugal with my paper. It was really a, a more of a matter of I wanted you to have everything that you need and not to be all stressed out about it. Let's do this one next. This one's pretty cute too. Let's get them on there straight though. I'm kind of thinking we're gonna do that one pink though. Oh, it's so good. I also sprinkled my wink of Stella on, um, you know, I flicked it all over too. That was the other thing I did. Oops, did you see what I just did there? Lift up, there you go, buddy. While I have it, I'm going to, oh, I stuck that in my ink pad, that's beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and go like that, like that, like that, I got one more. I make mistakes too, it's okay. All right, we need a word for this guy. It could go this way, and then it could be another thanks a bunch, which I like that. Hmm, we're gonna do it in the coastal cabana. Oh, that one came out really good. Very, very good. This is the Stamp and Seal Plus if you have one of these. Gentle, don't push hard. It doesn't like to be treated rough. It wants you to um, be very light-handed with it. And even where I stamped that guy, he's just coming from the top and that's perfectly fine with me. Let me see if I have a Wink of Stella here. I should have a good one. All right. We're gonna take the wink, and you guys know how to do this. You know you can do the tapping. My wink is getting a little low, so we're gonna go with the flicking. And then you can see, maybe, I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully I wasn't like off camera the whole time. I feel like I had it right. I can, oh, I said I did put him on there a little crooked, didn't I? All right, let me close all these guys up before I have a tragedy. Let me see what I've got for some embellishments in here. I'm leaning towards those could be cute. What else we got? I don't even, I haven't even gone through my embellishments and like weeded out all the ones that have retired because I love my embellishments and I don't want to get rid of them. I'm going to take some opal rounds and stick a couple. Oh no, don't like them. I'm not going to stick them there. I take it back. It might end up being rhinestones or pearls. Those won't work. So let's try these guys and see what they look like. And I had a pokey tool like two seconds ago. There he is. These are the champagne ones. I'm just wondering how they're gonna look. Oops, I kind of like those. Because they kind of have like that pinky rose gold kind of color to them. So I'm not hating that. Let's go up here and do these guys. This guy's gotta, he needs help. Where I had my boo-boo here. We're just gonna put a little row of them. So I'm gonna work on a PDF and the PDF is just gonna have the measurements, okay? Because you have the video for the instruction. I think that'll make more sense, especially when I show you the next card because it does require a little bit of instruction. And see, that's not horrible. There we go. I'm gonna leave him naked for now, maybe not. Maybe he just needs one. 
Ta-da! You can put 10 on there if you want. It's your card. I'm gonna stick another one over here. You could get rhinestones and pearls and you could color them to coordinate with whatever you used. You can do it however you want. All right, so there's four cards and also the envelopes, because I did forget to tell you, you could be stamping your envelopes too, because um, there were envelopes in your bag. So you would go through and stamp that big old sunflower. I thought I brought them in here with me. I'm not seeing them though. Let's see, that is not them. So I would take this guy and my sunflower already has this pink on it. So I would just go like that. You might even do one on the other side. Oops, and I got him a little wonky, but that's okay. Have you guys read that book, The Wonky Donkey? <laughs> this is how my brain works. I think of things randomly. It's really cute. It's a children's book, but it's really funny. I highly recommend it for a good, good giggle. All right, let's get some of this cleaned up. So I brought chamois to clean everybody. And I'm going to set those cards side by side so you can see the difference. And using a bigger stamp and a smaller stamp set that's two-step stamping or just stamping it once like we just did. I hear my son walking around. He's going to knock on the door. Are you busy? Because you know the door is only closed because I'm filming. <laughs> All right. Then we're going to stick everybody back in here so I don't lose them. If you know me at all, I will lose them. Move down. We got to get everybody in here. This I keep for a mask so that if I'm layering things, then I have it. And it's already cut and ready to go. All right. So here's what we did. Let's get rid of all this. Oops, I left a stamp. I bet somebody was yelling at the screen too, going, Lisa Marie, there's still one there. Whoever you were, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to move all these guys out of the way and then I'm going to show you so we had I'm going to pull two out like that and then these two I just did these are the same colors except that this is two-step stamping and this was not how pretty is that those came out really good I'm happy there we go cards for you all right the next one, what is this guy called? He is called a curvy bend. I like bendy card. I totally case this from um, a fellow stamper, Lisa Curcio. She does really cute stuff. And so I'm using this stamp set. Again, you can use any stamp set that you have, but this is the card. It actually fits just like this. It goes flat in the envelope. This is our regular envelope. And then when their person opens it up, they're gonna have a card that can stand. Cuteness, right? And this is the back where you would sign your, sign your message. And I just stamped happy birthday repeatedly just to show that. Cute. Here's one I did as congrats because I thought it could be a good graduation. And then you are amazing. But isn't that just adorable? I love, I'm gonna get up close so you can see inside how I did that super super easy all the bits and pieces are in your kit so it's not hard at all I promise I'm gonna pull out the happy birthday again I really do like the happy birthday because you can't have too many happy birthday cards or thank you cards oh I guess I could do the thank you that would be really kind of cute let's try it I think hip hip hooray cheers to you cheers for you can be a thank you card don't you think I think so we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna grab another block for you and another block for you. I'm gonna flip this over so, oh, that one's not much better. It's a little bit better though. So you're gonna have a piece of basic white. Let's get this out of the way so we can show you. A piece of basic white that is scored down the middle. Um, this was like four and a quarter by five, this piece, and then you score it at two and three quarters. So if you want to grab a pen and jot those down or wait for the PDF. And then I have designer series paper. That is, I do not remember. It is two and a half by four because then I got plenty of them out of a 12 by 12 piece of paper. 
And then you also have a strip of white. And then you have this strip of Poppy Parade. And then you have a piece of pale papaya and a piece of basic white that goes with it. So if it's making sense right now, that's this piece is that's these pieces right here, and then these two are this band. And then we have this one is going to be this piece that's inside that has those little scallops on it. You're going to get one of these, and it already has the score lines for you. So let's build this all first, the, as much as we can before we start stamping. So we're gonna go ahead. You could totally use the other side. I'm just saying. The other side could be really cute. And then it would have leaves. That could be cute. Let me see. I'm gonna do papaya. I'm gonna do the birthday though. So we're gonna take our adhesive. And with the seal plus, you don't need to cover the back. It doesn't need that much. We're gonna try to center this on here the best that we can. I'm gonna look at it and see if my stripes kind of match up. They may or may not. That one's not too bad. It doesn't matter because it's right there in the fold and it, um, they're stripes, it's gonna be fine. All right, so there's that one. Then we're going to grab this little guy. So this little guy is folding like that because you know the little bump. So he's going like that. I just wanted you to be able to see. You're gonna lay him down and take the scallop pieces or the leaves, whichever you decide to use. I hope you guys will post pictures over on my Stamp with Lisa Marie page so that we can see what you did what stamp set you're gonna end up using, what sentiment you end up, oh, totally put that down crooked. Did you see that? I went to push it down and it slid. I'm gonna come, I need to probably come up a little higher, sorry. I zoomed the camera in because it seemed like some of it was hard to see earlier, but it could just be me and my crazy eye issue. There we go. So see that piece goes like that. Because remember, it's going to be sitting. We're going to set him over there for a minute. Then we're going to stamp our words. And we're going to stamp it in Poppy Parade since we use that Poppy Parade paper. Where is my Poppy ink? Uh oh He was here a second ago. Hang on. Hold, please. I found him. All right. Poppy Parade. And we're going to do our words. Hip hip hooray, three cheers for you. So on this piece, I don't want you to center your words. I want you to go up high with them because you're not gonna see the bottom. You might see the top of my head here in a second, but you're not gonna see the bottom, this bottom portion, because it's gonna be hidden by this little strip here. So there's that. So then make sure he's dry because Poppy Parade is very juicy. So stamp and seal, sometimes see how nothing's coming out, top of your hand, and it didn't make my hand sticky or anything, but it restarted it. There we go. Move you aside, and this is my little strip where my sentiment's gonna go, and we're gonna try that thanks because I haven't used it yet, and I just thought it would be cute. This set is in the mini catalog right now, and it's really cute. So thanks. He's a little bit crooked. I think I might try him again. I think I must have him crooked on the box, on the box, on the block. <laughs> Let's turn him over. I just don't want to lay him on my desk and make it red. So we're gonna do him again. Let's see if we can get him straighter this time. That's, oh, I like the first one better. <laughs> All right, then I took some pale papaya, since that's the colors that we're using, and I'm going to add some little stars. This could be flowers, it could just be a little splotchy, like background type stamp, something just a little filler that you already own. And I'm gonna get one right there. Cute, right? 
And um, let's do our back stamping too while we're here. So we're gonna flip this over. And what should we put? Um, the You Are Amazing I have in this set is really cute too. Let's pull you off. Let's grab another block from over here. And I think Poppy. You are amazing. And then I'm going to take and put some stars because how cute are they? You can do that part however you want it. No rules. Stamp a Simply Chamois. We're going to clean these guys up real quick. Just so I don't lay anything on them. Move them out of the way. I'm go flip the now. So I've just stamped on here. I'm gonna flip him over so that I know this is my top and this is my bottom. And I'm going to take this guy, all right? He's going to, these little foldy guys are where the glue is gonna go. Don't jump ahead, okay? You have to make sure that the middle is lined up with the middle line and that you're on the bottom of the card, okay? So we're gonna open these guys up. And like, there we go. I like for my glue to get as close to that top edge so that I know it stays. So again, get him in there where you want him. And then I pick him up, line him up again, make sure he didn't wiggle around too much. And then this guy goes like that. I'm gonna grab my bone folder. Like that. And so there you go. There's the first part. I'm gonna set him aside. I'm going to grab, this is my piece that's gonna be in the front. You see it has the little foldy guys too. This piece is going to center-ish. It's, it's like, it's almost fits perfect, so it's close. So we're gonna put adhesive on there. Let's see how much space do I have here. It's teeny tiny. like that. Oh, he might be off just a little tiny bit, but I'm going to go with it. So I'm going to take this guy and now we're going to put adhesive on these two. So this and this, because that's where it folds. I just remembered that I have left my Chick-fil-A sandwich out on the island and I really hope my dog isn't eating it. <laughs> that would be terrible. All right, so fold him back, flatten him out. See, he's pointing up so that he doesn't get in my way. And we're gonna go all the way to the edge and the bottom of this card, like so. Then we're gonna come to the other side, make sure I have a little extra glue so I'm tucking him in. If when you do this, for whatever reason, it's not going to the card, bring the card up so that it goes right to the edge. Take that bone folder and get in there and burnish that really good again. And then come back and see, now you have a cute little rounded bendy card. Adorable. This guy, so he's got to be able to go in there and we need him to be flexible enough to um, go with the bend. So I'm going to flip him over. And I'm going, he's two inches wide, so I'm going to, in half, I'm going to score him. So I'm going to line him up at one inch. And I'm going to go over it just a couple of times. And then I should be able to give him a little bend. And then here's what I was talking about when I said, if you stamped all the way at the bottom, your words might have gotten hidden. Because you don't want this guy to be taller than your card. And you don't want your words hidden behind the banner. So... I know that I can go probably to there with my adhesive. I just kind of eyeball it. And you, this is one time you want to be generous with your adhesive because of that bend. We just don't want it to go 
to not stick, you know? So we have that crease. So again, like we did earlier, line up the middle, get the words where you want them, like that, and then give it a little bend so that it goes back the way you need him. And there he is. Now you could add bling to it. This one I added a couple little rhinestones just for fun. And then like I said, that will slide right into your envelope and then you're ready to go when you sign it and off you go. But cute congratulations for graduation, I think. Hip hip hooray, three cheers for you, congrats. And then hip hip hooray, happy birthday. Hip hip hooray, three cheers for you, thanks. I mean, those are all really, really good. So there you go. That is our class for this month. I hope that you enjoyed these two techniques. I love being able to make four cards out of one sheet of paper. I thought that, I think that's a lot of fun. And we did, the one I just showed you was with the sunflowers or with the color and contour. Let me show you that set while we're here. Where did I put him? You know, I get organized and then I color and contour and it has dyes too. I don't think I've opened them yet, have I? Let's see if they're here. No, I don't see them. Those are kind of cool. Um, so there's that one. We got lots of new stuff. Oh my gosh, so many good things. I think Rebecca used color and contour the other day, so it's just not sitting here. I'm pretty sure. So there you go. I will, um, I sent catalogs and wish lists, a little shopping list for you. And I will post the host code. If you're ordering from the new catalog, I will post it on May 4th. And if you are wanting to order from the last chance list, I'm going to privately send you the host code because I don't want anybody to try ordering and it's gonna reject it because it's too soon for the new stuff. So anyway, so I just was trying to keep down some of that confusion, but I am gonna show you this since I have your attention. And I actually didn't talk as long as I thought it was gonna take, so I'm gonna show you this. These are called basic border borders dies. So these, create edge pieces. So see, isn't that cool? These cute little, the little, we used to call it Rick Rack, it's a zigzag. This one's like a cloud and you got a ruffle, but those are really cool. And what else do we have? We have, oh my gosh, I just, this tree set is so beautiful. It's called Beauty and Friendship. And then it has these amazing dies and there's a beautiful designer series paper that goes with it. But aren't those just gorgeous? Is there another sheet? Nope, just those. The, I love that they gave us two birds going in two different directions, but these are just beautiful. So, so pretty. So lots of fun things, you guys. I know um, some of you can't make it to class yet in person and that's okay. We, we love you and we miss you. But if there's something that you really wanna see, let me know and I will try to do, you know, I'll do my best to show you things. Um, so I thought that's why I was, these are called loose flower flourishes and these go with the new in colors. But how cute are those? Look, I have a piece of hair on my phone and they're little acrylic pieces. Super cute and they're in that um, fresh freesia, pale papaya and polished pink. So those are cute. But if there's something you want to see, a technique, a fold, something in class, I am taking requests because I want to give you guys things that you will enjoy. Oh, here's another one. This is Quiet Meadow, I think it's called. It makes a pretty little collage background. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy these cards. I will post the measurements so that you have them. But like I said, the directions are going to be here in the video because this is really hard to explain in words. Okay, so the video will be very helpful to you. And I hope I get to see you guys soon. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.